Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. So some of you have asked me about this salmon crust bacon pizza. So I thought today I'll do a salmon crust bacon pizza recipe. It is keto, but if you're not on keto, you can still make it and still eat it. With that said, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. My channel is all about keto and everything mukbang. Anyway, on with the story. Choo -choo! Some of you might be wondering, hey, this is similar to the chicken crust pizza. Yes, it is. But except you are using salmon instead of chicken. For salmon especially, you want to dry up the salmon before putting into like the crust mixture. So before we start with everything, we're going to dry up the salmon by heating it up in the air fryer for about five minutes or so. When we make the pizza crust, it can be more dry than moist. Because later on, we're going to mix them together. So it's easier to just kind of separate the salmon and it's much easier to dry it up if you spread them out like this with a fork or a chopstick or however you want it. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'll grab a paper towel. I'm going to dry up and soak up as much water as possible before putting into the air fryer or the oven. Uh, some people say use the oven and preheat it at 350, but today we'll be using the air fryer instead. All this juice. It's a pretty simple recipe, so it won't take too much of your time. Well, let's just put it in the oven and see what happens. Choo! Ta-da! So as you can see, it's not dry. Let me tell you, the drier the better. So, you know, if you can make it drier, it'll get crispy when you mix it into a crust. Anyway, let's just put it in here first because we're going to change the sheet from the foil paper to a parchment paper. Okay, so this is the part that where you can figure it out what kind of flavor you want to add in there. The recipe does call for quarter cup of parmesan, but I like parmesan a lot. So I'm going to put a, almost a half cup of it and you just put in here. And you're also going to put a shredded mozzarella, about like half a cup. I'm putting as much as you want. There's no strict rule about this keto crust, okay? And it called for one teaspoon of garlic powder. But you know what? I love garlic powder, so I'm gonna put more than that. Huh? Mmm. And then for a crust, you must have this Italian seasoning. You can get it anywhere at the grocery stores. It's a uh, one tablespoon of uh one teaspoon of it, but however much you want, of course. The last ingredients we have is one egg. I put two just because it looks better. Just saying. Now you just need to mix them all together to form a crust. That's not hard, isn't it? Mmm. You might be wondering, can you really make it into a crust without any flour? Yes, you can. Because the mozzarella, when it melts, it's going to bind everything together, and as well as the parmesan. So, so that's why the crust can form. And the longer you cook, the th the, the crispier it gets. If you like a thin crust, nice pizza, this is a perfect pizza for you going to bring back my tray. Like I said, I'm going to use a parchment paper. You're just going to put this pizza crust on there, however you want to lay it. Since my tray is a rectangle, I am going to just make it into a long pizza crust. And you know, like those handmade pizza dough, it never really formed a nice circle. 
Just make sure you kind of even it out. Depends on your preference. You can make it as thin as possible or you want to make it a little bit thicker so it holds better. How did I come about with this pizza crust? Um, it, I was just playing around with it and then I thought, hey, hey, I do have the canned salmon. So I thought instead of using chicken, why not try fish instead? Since I felt a can of tuna, can of salmon and canned of chicken, they all have the same texture. Making a seafood pizza sounds fun. This looks like a nice pizza crust, right? And we're just going to put it in the oven. For how long? It really depends on your oven. Uh, I might try to put it in there for 10 minutes in my air fryer. It dries up much quicker. So we'll see what happens. Look at the browning on the top to determine whether it's finished or not. The most important part about the whole process of making this crust is to use the parchment paper. Trust me, because I tried to use the foil paper before and then it'll get stick onto the bottom of the pan. You pretty much cannot just remove it. So parchment paper, parchment paper, parchment paper. All right, let's heat this up. Choo -choo. Check this out. You see the brownie on top? That's pretty much you know that your salmon crust is ready. So now you can just put all the ingredients that you want on there. Uh, I am using this Ross homemade uh, marinara for my base. See, when you are on keto and then you made a crust like this without carbs, you can put pretty much put as much stuff on there if you want. And I'm going to put bacon. Oh no, hold on. I'm going to put mozzarella. If your mozzarella is too wet, like mine, um, I don't know what to say to you. You can use the dry one if you can find them. I just didn't have it. It didn't sell it at Costco, so I'm just using the, the wet one. Still works. One thing about the homemade pizza is you can put as much ingredients on there as you want, and nobody's gonna say no about it. Yay! This is a lot of bacon. Mmm! This is so exciting. I'm going to put more, a little bit more cheese on there. And now you just need to put in the oven until the cheese is melted. Then voila, you got your nice salmon crust pizza. Let's do this. Choo choo! Oh my god, the most annoying moment had happened. That part didn't record. So I ate part of my pizza and realized the recording was not on. So I have to do the whole thing again. But check this out. Don't look at this part. I only did it for like about eight minutes in my air fryer, but it really depends on how much toppings you put on there. And uh, since I like my bacon on the crispier side, so I put a little bit longer than usual. We'll do the taste test again. You see how firm the pizza crust is, although it's a little bit floppy. Uh, I do like to fold my pizza like I said earlier, but I didn't record it. Since it's a salmon crust, it's a seafood crust, so you can definitely put uh, seafood toppings like shrimp, clam. Um, just don't put seaweed. I don't know who put seaweed on their pizza. Please leave comments, okay? Mm. It's still really hot. Thank God I didn't finish the whole pizza and then realizing that I did not record. Mm. I am definitely going to finish the whole pizza myself. Some of you guys might be asking, um, what's the macro for this? Honestly, I don't know. I never really count my macro. 
um, the whole crust didn't really have any carbs so whatever you put on top you know definitely watch out for it like the marinara sauce you know it has some kind of carbohydrates in there um, other than that I think this is a very low carb pizza crust I'm still chewing the, I, have, I put too much mozzarella in there I didn't have lunch so this will be my lunch if you want to know more about different kind of keto recipe uh, please leave in the comments. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. Anyway, my sister is not here, so I'm not thanking anyone besides you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.